and pass me his leg. And this is the same for this kind of leg lock position as well, where, where we're going to that um, uh, foot on the opposite side just to prevent any heel hook attacks and, and that kind of thing. But we'll start off from here because we've all been in the same position. Okay. For Jay to, to escape, especially if he can't clear the knee line, and the knee line is where my knees are in conjunction with his knee. Okay, so at the moment I've got a good position because his knee is below my knee. Okay, so if we think about battles, if Jay gets his knee past my knees, I haven't got as much control. So that's what the, the knee line is. Um, so obviously I've got a nice squeeze. I'm keeping, maybe even keeping control of the knee to stop his, uh, um, his uh, attempts to try and clear that knee line. Okay, he doesn't have many options at this point apart from coming up and grabbing my arms. If I get into a good foot lock position where he's already starting to feel pain, this is where people then start to feel this leg across. Okay, so I'm going to follow, so he's going to go to his knees, and I'm going to go to this position. You have to be really careful here. So I'm on my forehead, yeah, knees on the mat, and then we're going to attack with a down facing uh, foot lock. Okay. In a fight, I'm going to throw my head out and extend my hips up. Okay. I'm not going to do that now, I'm just going to control it so that my forehead's stepping a lot of the way yeah, and I'm just going to start extending. If you feel like you're going to fall, so you're in this position, you feel like you're going to do that, just unhook the leg. Okay, because that's where you're going to get more damage. Think about the side position, that we'll just say this to a couple of guys, when, when we're on a side, it's a lot easier for me to create a bigger movement so like I can really drive my hips in there and that's going to be really painful for the person okay before backwards I'm now fighting gravity okay so I'm having to extend my hips up so I can't create that same angle that same sort of uh, movement if I'm downward facing gravity's on my side okay so now I've got the ability to really extend through. So when I've got that good grip here, and that forehead in a fight, I'm extending everything through. So you've got an even, it's like a downward facing armbar, it's an even more curve. Uh, yeah, it's all. <laughs> okay, so this is the drill I just want us to work on. So we get into our leg lock position, however, so we can even just go straight to here. Yeah, okay, start attacking my uh, for the leg lock. He steps over. Go to my forehead, squeeze my knees, find that first position. He then continues his roll. And then I get my leg lock again. So, doesn't matter how many times he rolls, my knees are squeezing and I just follow him until I get the foot lock. Okay? So, pull that knee in. So, knees have to be active at this point. I'm nice and tight, but I'm not applying the foot lock. He steps across, onto my forehead, hit my first tap, and carries on the roll. See how I secured the knee so that it can't slip that knee out. Then into my second submission. So your first one, that we're doing on the other drill, just went straight up. Second one after the roll, take the elbow back and attack that second footwork. Okay? Have a go. One, two, three. 